so we're back, multiplying courage and confidence in Carolyn's life today. And um, she's going to have a very natural nude eye, but uh, with a little bit of a gold highlight. So for her base, I'm using a light brown. I believe this is American Coffee by Laura Mercier. I'm just going to highlight all over the eye. And using my all over brush. And just want to get everywhere. And it's called an all over brush because you literally want to spread the shadow, your base shadow, all over the yeah, eye. And you're just patting it on, not brushing it, just pat it on. Okay. And then we're going to go over that with a nice highlight. I'm going to go right into the top of the brow and brush downward. And she really likes the gold palettes, say within the gold family, so we're going to do that for her. Excuse me. I'm going to go in with this nice bright gold color. Tap that off to the center of her eye. I'm not going to go as far in as I did with my other sister. I'm just going to keep it right in here. And using the blender brush to really blend the color in. I'm just going to do one eye. Okay. And then to give a little bit of depth for her, I'm going to use a nice brown. Still within that family, same kind of taupe family. And I'm going to get it right in the crease. This will give her some dimension. It's kind of like a family affair today. I never get to do their makeup because they live all the way in Atlanta. And we're in VA. So this is really fun for me. I'm going to go back to my blender brush. It's always good to have a nice clean blender brush. get rid of any excess. All right, then we're going to go ahead and do a liner. I'm going to use the Black Track Fluid Liner again because that's really great again for longevity. And since her eye doesn't have as much color on it, I'm going to do a little bit more of a dramatic liner for her. Okay, close your eye. And I'm starting right in the center of the eye. And I'm just going to bring it up right to the end. I'm going to stay as close to the lash line as possible. See that? Open. It's nice. OK. And then I'm going to go underneath the bottom the lower lash. Open. It's going to give a little bit of drama to her lower lash line. She's a crier too, so we don't want to do too much. Open. Okay. And to really seal the deal on that, I'm going to add a little bit of powder. Anytime you're using a liquid, you want to use some type of powder to finish it off. That's the same thing with your foundation. If you're using a liquid or a cream-based foundation, you want to go back over it with a powder. Uh, it really just helps to seal the, uh, the liquid in. I'm just going back over that line. Open. I'm going to go back over the bottom. 
Okay. All right, and we're actually going to add, do you want it lashes too? Okay, we're going to add individual lashes, do her mascara, and then for the final video, we're going to go for a nice red lip. We're going to do a little bit of a ruby boo from MAC. Okay, so see you soon.